Hello everyone, welcome to another trigonometry lesson. We're now going to work through some of these problems together. Um, so hopefully to understand what I'm doing, you need to have done all of the tutorials before this lesson. So just make sure you've done that and then come back uh, when you are ready for me to go through these answers. Okay, so the question is, without using a calculator, find the exact values of the following. Cos 300 degrees. Okay, now when I do these questions, I like to draw the unit circle simply because it gives me a visual of what they're talking about. So this is 0 degrees, we got 90, 180, 270. So 300 would be somewhere here on the unit circle, so you can draw a circle if you like. So three, uh, 300 would be somewhere here, and the angle here would be, because this is 360 degrees, this is 60 degrees. Okay, now you can see here using symmetry that it'll have the same x coordinate, which is the cosine it'll have the same coordinate as cos 60 so you can say cos 300 is the same as cos 360 minus 60 and if you remember our last um, tutorial that is the same thing as cos theta, so that's cos 60. Okay, now we need to use our exact value, exact values to figure it out. So if you remember our um, equilateral triangle, so our equilateral triangle where we have 60 degrees on every side, but because we cut it in half, we cut it in half down the middle, so this angle is only 30 degrees. Okay, and we had two units long on every side, but this unit is then one, and um, the vertical length is square root of three. So cos 60 is, if this angle is theta, then this side is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. So cos 60 is uh, 1 over 2. Now you can always check it on your calculator, but you have to show working out because it says without using a calculator. But once you find your answer, it, it is no harm to then check it with your calculator. So let's do that. So let's type in cos 60 and the answer is 0 0.5 so we have it correct. Okay let's do number 2. Number 2 is sine 11 pi over 6. So number 2 sine of 11 pi over 6. Okay, so I like to draw the um, Cartesian plane again. Now this time I'm going to label the angles with radians. So we know that pi radians is 180 degrees, pi over 2 radians is 90 degrees, and 3 pi over 2, so 1.5 pi, is here and then 2 pi is over here. Now 11 pi over 6 is the same thing. Sorry, so 11 pi over 6 would be somewhere along here. Right, the angle would be somewhere along here. So if you know a bit of fractions, Okay, you can see here that 11 pi over 6 plus um, 
1 pi over 6 equals 12 pi over 6 which is 2 pi okay so therefore this angle here must be pi over 6 okay so oops so this dot here if we use the uh, symmetry concept okay sorry about the circle um, not being centered but this dot here is going to have a similar y coordinate or the same y coordinate but reflected off the x axis so it's going to have the negative of this y coordinate um, where theta is uh, pi over 6 so uh, using the equation that we gave you guys sine of 2 pi minus theta is negative sine theta actually I should have done that with this one so with the previous one the um, equation was cos 360 minus theta is the same as cos theta whereas with sine sine of 2 pi minus theta is negative sine theta so sine of bracket 2 pi minus pi over 6 is the same as negative sine pi over 6 okay so pi over 6 is um, 180 degrees divided by 6 which is 30 degrees so we can use the same triangle right because if we have 30 degrees as theta then this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse side this becomes the opposite and this becomes the hypotenuse so therefore sine negative sine 30 degrees is negative opposite over hypotenuse so that's 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 and that is the answer for sine of 11 pi over 6 is negative 1 over 2 and if you want to check it in your calculator again so bring up the calculator put it on radians sine of bracket 11 pi over 2 finish your bracket and it's got uh, negative one hmm is this on radiance sine bracket 11 pi over 2 negative one. Oh, sorry 11 pi over 6 not 11 pi over 2 what am I thinking sine of bracket 11 pi over 6 and the answer is negative 0 0.5 which is exactly what I have okay let's do the third one which is 10 420 so 10 420 So if you draw the Cartesian plane, okay, 360 is over here. Now 420 minus 360 is another 60 degrees. So basically we rotated a full revolution and then we go another 60 degrees over here. So this angle here is only 60 degrees and we have this point here so this length is one unit long and we want 10 of 60 degrees so 10 420 
is simply the same thing as 1060 okay so a whole revolution is 360 and then we go another 60 so this line here is exact same has the exact same position as simply 60 degrees from the positive x-axis so if you um, put this in the calculator oh actually we're not allowed to use the calculator so let's go back to our triangle and we have 60 degrees over here so therefore this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent so opposite over adjacent is square root of 3 over 1 so the answer is just square root of 3 so let's try that so 10 4 20 this time I won't enter wrong so we got on degrees 10 4 20 put it in the calculator and we got 1.73 and then let's try the square root of 3 is 1.73 as well okay so that is the answer to these three questions hopefully you guys were able to work them out